I'm just so sad she didn't get to see it. But I think it would have been really fun for her to see the end product because I knew she would have loved it. I'm Gabby Smith, I'm 18, and my artwork is called Herbarium Heritage. My artwork is, I would call it like a little red riding hood cape, and the exterior is bundle dyed from all natural flora of the Australian landscape. And then the interior is all embroidered flora into dissolvable laundry bags. And then I stitched over with a machine, all the different plants, and then that was stitched into the cape itself in the interior. And then I hand embroidered roots growing up the exterior to like look like it's been ripped out of the ground almost. When I first started, it wasn't intending to be a red riding cape. I wanted it to be sort of more refined. I wanted it to be a dress but I didn't want to get that mother nature sort of connotation, so I steered clear of that. And I was like, okay, Little Red Riding Hood is probably the only fairy tale that sort of a grandmother and granddaughter have like a special bond. I was reflecting on my experiences with my now past granny, who was an artist herself, um, and she taught me how to sew and she, had a magnificent garden and I guess it was almost therapeutic to sort of do an art that she taught me how to do. It was sort of exploring the relationship I had with her and in her garden but sort of looking at the Australian identity and how our identity is rooted in the environment as a culture itself. It will be interesting to see how it ages because I don't know how long it will last. Like mine has a time element to it, like plant material doesn't last forever. And I think that also adds to the meaning because it's not going to last, like nothing. Everything natural just disintegrates, decomposes. As it ages, I'm intrigued by different colours that fade and age, I guess. I definitely don't want to give up on art. I think you have like a little creative spark that was instilled by both my mum and my granny and my gran. They both extremely wanted me to be creative and encouraged me in all those areas. They wanted me to paint or to do anything that got, kept me busy, I guess. And so I feel like that spark will always be there.